Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Delegates, as you can see, I am still in command. I'm still the chairman. Up to the end of my speech, then I will surrender. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you once again for being here, attending this uh, event to witness the launching of our solar power system that will lighten up our vessel starting tonight. So Honorable Pacific Ministers, Director General of Pacific Community, SPC, Distinguished Delegates, Development Partners, and International and Regional Organizations, Ladies and Gentlemen, Welcome to the launch of the pilot project of the Maritime Technology Cooperation Center in the Pacific, MTCC Pacific. This is a collaborative partnership between the center, based in Suwa, with the government of Samoa to demonstrate the uptake of new technologies to reduce fuel, oil consumption, and greenhouse gas emissions from the shipping sector. In my remarks at the official opening of the second regional workshop of MTC Pacific on Monday, I briefly highlighted some of the collaborative arrangements that we have established with SPC and the MTC's MTCC Pacific project here in Samoa. Indeed, we have officially opened a branch office of MTCC Pacific here in Apia with SPREP on Tuesday. The peer-based branch office as well as the pilot project on board the MB Lady Samo Sri before you today illustrates the potential of genuine and durable partnerships that are forged on understanding, mutual benefit, and a collective ambition to achieve sustainable results. As Pacific Island countries, and despite the many challenges that we face, we should be proud of the significant steps we are taking to implement innovative and practical measures in moving our small economies towards renewable energy. But we cannot undertake these actions alone. Allow me to acknowledge the support and assistance provided by our development partners, as well as our regional organizations, private sector, and CSOs <coughs> in laying the foundation towards building a long-term approach to reducing reliance on fossil fuel and greenhouse gas emissions from our shipping sectors. I shall leave to the experts from SPC and engineers from CPS to provide you with the more technical details of the solar system installed on board the vessel and to explain some of the immediate results of this project. But please allow me to highlight the following. This is a first demonstration of some of the technologies that are available now and which ship operators could invest in. This initiative demonstrates that we can achieve 20 to 30 percent emissions reduction with existing fleets and achieve some of the targets that we advocate for. This initiative will further build the capacities and capabilities of our people to absorb and uptake innovative energy efficient technologies to prepare our industries to operate the vessels of tomorrow. And lastly, this demonstrates to the international maritime community the will of our Blue Pacific region that we will no longer be the 
the dumping station of inefficient vessels. We should, strength, we should strengthen, therefore, our call for the transfer of innovative energy efficiency technologies to support our efforts in this regard. As we launch, as we launch this initiative, I wish to acknowledge the work of the International Maritime Organization, IMO, as the source of establishing the five MTCCs around the world. A big thank you as well to the European Union, EU, for its generous funding support for the global MTCC, MTCCs network, and through them, these pilot projects, and through them, these pilot projects. Last but not least, <coughs> I would like to acknowledge the Director General of SPC, Dr. Tukwi Tonga, and his staff for the invaluable support provided through the MTCC Pacific to prepare for today's launch. On Monday morning, I requested all international and regional partners to consider continued support for the MTCC Pacific to support the necessary revolution to transform the way we look at sustainable mobility in our blue Pacific continent. Revolution starts by small steps, and I take the launch tonight as one of these small steps. Please join me now in switching on the, the lights on board the MV Lady Samo Shri and start saving 135 tons of greenhouse gas emissions a year, a modest contribution to global efforts, reflecting approximately 17% of this particular ship's annual emissions. Thank you for your attention, so it's war and God bless.